Hi guys, my name is Andrew and welcome to the next episode on AF Super Tutorials. In this episode we will gonna be talking about data structures and this time about linked list. So what is a linked list? Linked list is a data structure that consists of nodes. Every node consists of two properties. Its value of any type you want and next that's pointer for another node. Uh, today we will be talking about single linked list that has only one pointer to the uh, to the next node, but also there could be a double linked list that has two pointers. One is forward and second one previous to the previous node. So that's it with theory. So now let's get back to code. First, we need to create class node. In this case, we will gonna be using classes, not structures, because we will make use of reference types and we need to have a property of a so-called pointer type that points on another type. And structures does not allow us to do that. So let's create a class node. Again, this class is going to be generic. So we will place a generic item and has two properties value and next. And it's a class, so it doesn't have member vice initializer. So we need to create a custom init. So now let's create a linked list. Again, it's going to be class and it's gonna be having a generic item. So let's start implementing linked list. We need head and tail and get only properties for those first and last. All right, so now we have head and tail. So now let's implement uh, a property is empty, which will show if our linked list have some values. Another property is gonna be count, which will show how many nodes we have in our linked list. And how we switch to the next node. In order to switch to the next node, we have the current node and we just assign it current node dot next. So now let's go to methods. The most important method uh, is append to add items to the linked list. So in this case, we're checking if we have tail node. If we doesn't have a tail node, it means our linked list is empty. We add else and assign head our new node. And tail is going to be new node too. All right, so that's it with append. Also, let's add a method node add that we will show the value of the node at selected index. Item is going to be optional because this method could fail. So let's add assert in order to make sure that our index greater or equals than zero. All right, so what do we do here? We assert that our index greater or equal than zero. 
if our index is positive then we loop through the if our index is valid then we can loop through the linked list if our index equals to zero that means we have iterated uh, desired number of times and we can return current node dot value which is going to be our item at index if we cannot iterate through the linked list or get some error we just return nil that's why our item is optional so next let's add a remove add a method which will remove our node at selected index all right so what do we do here we're checking if our index equals zero it means that we're at the first element if we are at the first first element we just need to move our head one node next and it removes our it will remove our first element otherwise we're looping through the element get to the index minus one that's why we are getting to i equals one not i equals zero we're getting to the index minus one and to our element at index minus one we need to assign next our pointer to current node next next it means we need to jump through the element we need to remove and assign the pointer to the element that goes after the element we want to remove and the last method i would like to add that's remove all elements and the easiest method of all of those also i will add an extension to print uh, our linked list That's it with implementation. So now let's create a example to test our linked list code. And we will provide our implementation of item generic to string. All right, let's add four elements. Yeah. Here we will print our node at index two then we will remove node at index zero and let's run the playground so here we have at node index two we have three we have removed index zero so now first our head element is two our last element tail is four our linked list is not empty that's why it returns false count of linked list is three because we have removed our first element and here we have printed out our linked list and in console we have c hat which is currently two that points on three which points on four so that's it with the linked list implementation hope this video was useful for you if yes give it a like and consider subscribing to this channel for more videos and thank you for watching and i will see you next episode bye bye